this. I wonder... I wonder what the difference would be in the end. He'd probably find out and be like, You told everybody my secret. What did I tell ya? You weren't supposed to tell people. Now I gotta kill ya. Alright, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there we go. You weren't supposed to tell the people my secret. I'll put the beret on. He'll probably wind up shooting the person and me. Alright, now we're getting the hell out of here. Chris probably hopped ship and went with them. It's all good. Chris is in a better place, maybe, possibly. He could also possibly be dead now with them. Again, cult? Maybe? What if that was their way of doing their cult kind of thing, you know? I mean, instead of cyanide and Kool-Aid, you just kind of launch off in the outer space? It could happen. It could be their thing. Okay, yeah, we were all through this shit before. Don't get stuck, damn it, don't get stuck. Jeez, this place is massive. Damn it. Don't go get lost in a damn building. We just came in this place. Alright, now we can go back to town and get this shit done. See ya. Hello to all those who are at the live stream. Thanks for joining us. Hope you all are having a wonderful Friday out there. As you can see, we're playing out some Fallout New Vegas. Switch it up this week instead of playing Skyrim. Something completely different. World map. This is a continuation of our Let's Play on a Channel Elemental Factor. So now that we finally got these guys done here, the Brotherhood's out in space somewhere. Possibly living, possibly dying. Who knows? Give some scrapyard back to NCR. No, no, no. We're going to go back to Novak. Hmm. There we go. All right. So many suspects down around here. So many suspects. Who done it? Howdy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hey there. Need anything? Traveling mercenary. Uh, not yet. Stay safe. I'm not going to deal with you just yet. Who can I poke around for questions? They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. By gum. Who... Tr what? Who tried to make you talk? Confound it, no bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. What? All right, stranger. You got me. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, that was easy. Jesus. What's been going on in this damn town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says no bark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. A chupacabra with an automatic weapon? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, God. Why do they call you no bark? Because he has no bite. Ha <laughs> ha! Cheap joke. Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. Okay, so this guy's got poison on the brain. Right, he's done bad shit. What do you else know about the deaths of Coral? I come face to face Corral. with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. What? Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. 
only more invisible than the other one. Okay, well, yeah, I think you got too much poison on a brain, pal. Holy shit. Invisible chupacabra with a blunderbuss and bullets in the backpack. Anything else happening around this area? Okay, do I want to ask him about Boone's wife? This could be a very bad thing. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Are you serious? I just took care of them ghouls, you nut. Uh. Ghosts. Kami ghosts, but don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've yep. seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Yep. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. A scientist? You're a scientist? You're batshit crazy. I could play a hand of caravan with him, but... I guess I'm going to blow the cover here. What do you know about abduc the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals. Come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Who the hell was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Holy crap, this guy, yeah. Good goodbye. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Exactly, keep it that way. I will have to come back and put a bullet in your head, you crazy some bitch. And I do mean hit crazy some bitch. All right, what's going on here? So we have to look in this lobby area for the guilty party. Oh no. Oh no. Ghost doors at it again. Damn, he even ducked. So Cliff knows about the freaking thing. Cliff. Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Hold on, Cliff. Come back soon now. Let me do something real fast. Go ahead and put that beret on. <laughs> get Cliff shot and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would not go over well, would it? All right, where is that? Where is it at? Boone's beret. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the beret on. Let's talk here. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Yeah. I'm not buying your thing. Oh, hand of caravan. Oh, God. Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for her. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Would you like to come with me, Cliff? Hmm. Okay, I guess we can't get anything out of him. Come back soon now. Alright, whatever. I do want to break into that door, though. Even though he's gonna get... Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's got radiation in there. Holy shit. What are you storing in there? Oh, you got all kind of secrets now, don't you? Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Oh, you are sketchy as hell now. Yeah. Come back soon now. Right. Manny? What's going on, man? No, we know who Manny is. Yeah, see ya. All right, whatever. All right, I think this might be a good time to leave off at a cliffhanger here. It's about that time again. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to the live stream. We've reached that time again, and it was a pleasure. We actually helped these guys out get to the outer space. Don't know if they survived or not, but at least they're in outer space. So I did my part. <laughs> yeah, you ain't kidding. He is a freaking commie.
Yeah, as soon as you go near that door, that thing is starting to go off like bad shit. So, thank you for coming out to the live stream. Who knows, maybe we'll have a video up on YouTube about the further exploitation of this, this son of a bitch. That's right, you're a son of a bitch. You know, you, you did something. Yeah, take your T-Rexes and shove them up your ass. Alright, guys. Th thanks for coming out. We reached that point in the live stream. Hope you all have a wonderful Friday, or the rest of your Friday. If not, just simply fake it. We'll do it again next week, same time, same place, same Twitch channel. And I will see you all again next time. We'll resume.